stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Konshu. Build a figure wave, what if, zombie, Iron Man. Power and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it. Dan, who, and remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we are starting a whole new wave of Marvel Legends. As in front of me, we have the Konshu Builder Figure Wave, which is basically Disney Plus What If MCU vibes. And I thought we're a few days late for Halloween, but let's start off with Zombie Iron Man, as there are already a few reviews out there of Scarlet Witch, and I'm very curious how Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, and last year's Captain America look together. We're starting to add those zombies to the shelf, so let's do it. First off, we have the packaging, digital render on the front, What If logo there. We get the watcher up top watching as he does some images from the What If show. Now on the back of the box, this is a little bit different as we have no wave association. This guy comes with no builder figure piece, but we do get a couple of accessories. We'll look at that shortly. On the side of the box, this is new. We get a picture of the Conchu builder figure, plus all the other figures in the wave you need to build Conchu. And uh, as you can see, Iron Man has no builder figure piece. So you need everyone else. But without further ado, let's get him open. Here we have zombie Iron Man out of the packaging with all of his accessories, which include an interchangeable pair of fisted hands. And then this was a pleasant surprise. On the back of the box, it said you got one effect piece, but you actually get a pair. You get two repulsor blast effect pieces, which is a nice touch. Not complaining about that at all. And in regards to Iron Man himself, he looks great. There's more newness here than I first thought. Of course, new head sculpt looks zombified, looks great, but I do think the upper and lower torso are new as well. It's meant to resemble the Mark 50, but there is a little bit of difference on there, and I will do some comparisons. But first, let's zoom in. So here we have our zombified Tony Stark head sculpt, and again, I think they've done a great job here. The hair is all messy, the face is all disgusting, his nose has literally been chopped off, his teeth are exposed, you can see the tongue in there. Both of the cheeks have holes in the yellow outed eyes. Yeah, I think they've done a great job. Let's have a look at this. So there you go. You can see the holes in both cheeks, just like Cap did. You can see the red tongue in there as well with the exposed teeth. He's still got his goatee though. Uh, Tony Stark is still rocking the goatee, even in zombie life. Uh, and that is brown to match the eyebrows and then that sloppy, messy hair. If I spin it around to the back as well, you can see that sort of messiness. Uh, but that is nicely done. And I love the way that you can sort of just tilt the head because the head is on a dumbbell joint. It's not a disc in a hinge, so uh, you can just like proper crock it and tilt it uh, to the side, uh, so it does sort of look more zombified on a display. Uh, so not mad about that. That looks really, really good. But uh, yeah, I think they've done a great job, and I am happy to report as well that the blues do match. If I bring in a side by side with uh, a Captain America here, you can see that both of them obviously very zombified. Both of them have those exposed holy cheeks uh, with the yellowish eyes, uh, but their skin tones match which I think is important if you're going to get a few of these zombies on a display. They're all in theme. They all match each other. So there you go. Captain America and Iron Man uh, looking uh, disgusting. But that's a good thing. Now, I mean that in a nice way. So let's take a look at the rest of this figure. Let me zoom out. Uh, so it is a new torso, I think, and a new lower torso as we have these exposed ribs down here. Again, you can see the exposed skin with some ribs. Uh, and that is a sort of an indent in the armor. There's some dirtiness as well, like some sort of splodges of mud, I guess. Not a lot, to be fair. But a little bit here on the front, a little bit more there, a little bit more on the shoulder. So a little bit of dirtiness to the armor. I would have liked to see some more chunks out of the actual armor to see some more exposed parts, just like we had on Cap. Uh, but there's a little bit there on the rib cage, and then a little bit more on this forearm. That is literally your lot. There's a little bit of an exposed bone there, a little bit of exposed skin. So exposed forearm, exposed ribs. Other than that, the Iron Man figure literally all the way around is in his armor. So the armor is maintained very well, uh, even down to the legs here. You can see no chunks or anything. Again, I would have liked more sort of uh, chunks out of the armor. The legs are definitely reuse from maybe the Mark 50. Uh, and then, as I said, these have been modified a little bit. I couldn't really match the upper torso. I think that's because the neck here uh, matches the actual skin tone 
of the the head so maybe that's been modded uh, I don't mind that the uh, the actual wrists don't have a hinge on it now usually I would complain about that but I think for a zombie it sort of gives him like a weird contorted sort of awkward pose on the shelf which can sort of work so yes I would have liked the hinges but I think you can get away with it here both of the repulsor hands still have the peg holes in so both of them can plug in your pair of repulsor blasts which as I said was a pleasant surprise not complaining about it so yeah yeah, even as a zombie, Iron Man still has the power of the suit, as we've seen in the show. Uh, so there we go, Repulsor Blast. But we do get a set of fisted hands, which, as I always say, should come as standard with every single Marvel legend ever. It just creates a very simple, natural pose. Here we have a quick Iron Man comparison. So we've got the Mark 50, one of the many Mark 50s, and then the Mark 85. Now, all three of these are a little bit different, but there is a little bit of reuse here. As I said, I thought this was the Mark 50, and they definitely share the same legs and the same arms but the torso uh, the upper and lower have been modded in a way to suit this Iron Man now you guys are thinking the same as me if I was going to make a zombie Iron Man I'd have some more exposed skin I'd have more of the armor missing I'd have chunks missing however to be fair to Hasbro, that's not their intention here. What they're doing is creating the what if zombie Iron Man. And if you go back and watch the show, this is how he looked. He didn't really have many exposed parts. So to be fair, I can't be too harsh here because their intention is to create the what if Iron Man, not just our mind's eye generic Iron Man that's a zombie. So uh, yeah, they've done a decent job. However, <laughs> I still can't help but want a more gruesome looking zombie Iron Man. But uh, I guess he's got some on him. And here we have our comparison of the zombie Captain America and Iron Man from the Disney Plus What If series. And as you can see, they look great together. Iron Man is just a little bit taller as he should be. He is a man in a suit of armor, but they are definitely in theme together. And remember, a zombie Disney Plus TV show has been announced, uh, which should be the same sort of stylized way as the What If series. So uh, I do predict more zombie Marvel Legends to come, but of course, these ain't the only two we've got. Here we have our zombie Scarlet Witch who was very powerful in the show and again I will put up a separate review of her to take a closer look but as you can see here together all three of these look great and they're all in theme with the same sort of blue hue skin tone and uh, yeah Wanda's all beaten up with that crazy wild hair I think she'll look even better on a flight stand but yeah we've just got three of these figures but I can already imagine a shelf full of sort of Marvel characters all been zombie Fired. Well, it will be epic. It will be epic. And I'm sure that day will come. But uh, yeah, these three look great. Here we have the what if version of Peter Parker with these zombies as they're all from the same episode. And I like that episode, not just because of the zombies, more so because of the ragtag team of MCU characters that were put together. But it is nice to start to build out some of these episodes in figure form. I think we're going to have that Ant-Man head very soon as well with Howard the Duck. But uh, yeah, these are going to make for a very nice what if display. Here we have Iron Man compared to some more what if characters with T'Challa Star-Lord and Peggy Carter, Captain Carter. And if you're thinking about picking up these what if zombies to put into a comic Marvel display, here we have Captain America and Wolverine just to show you how that will work. I do think that they can be fudged into a comic display as they are zombies, uh, but the color palette is a little bit darker in tone to our comic characters. But again, that sort of works into advantage of the grittier, darker zombie tone so uh yeah personal preference of course but there you go here we have zombie iron man compared to frogman tigra and white rabbit and last but absolutely never least here we have captain britain and bomb bastic hank Brains. So final thoughts on this marvel legends conchu build a figure wave disney plus what if Zombie. Iron Man. Now, I think this is a great accompanying piece to the Captain America we have already got. And of course, you can add Scarlet Witch in this very same wave. And it is a very nice trio on a display. I do think as we add more zombies, it will be an epic display at the end of the day. We've got Peter Parker from that episode. We've also got the Ant-Man's head in the jar. So it's nice to start to build these episode Pacific sort of scenes in our What If collection. Now, you know me, I was lukewarm on these What If figures. I was more than happy with just collecting 
in the live action stuff, but these are some really great representations of these characters in that animated format put into plastic. No cell shading or any gimmicks like that. It is just some nice Marvel legends. So uh, you let me know if you're jumping on board. Are you trying to get your what if zombies? Are you putting them into their own what if display, their, their MCU display, or are they going into a comic display? Are you fudging them in there? Always curious to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. But if you like Marvel Legends and uh, you're in the right place, check out the videos tab. Find the playlists, but most importantly, please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Hit all on the notification bell. Don't miss out on a video. And please hit that join button. Become a channel member. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. You can follow me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet me. Don't be shy at Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W. And I will, of course, see you on the next one.